Route 66 is a testament to American ingenuity and creativity. While the development of a continuous route between Chicago and Santa Monica was in its time a miraculous feat, it is the people and the towns they live in that are its real legacy. Abraham Lincoln lived on Route 66 and just across the Kansas-Oklahoma border in Commerce, Oklahoma, Mickey Mantle honed the skills that made him one of America's greatest baseball players. South of Commerce is a small city of just under 14,000 people with a unique heritage. Miami, Oklahoma is home to nine of the 27 American Indian tribal headquarters that claimed ancestral lands along the trade route that became the 2400 mile long Route 66. During World War II, Miami hosted over 2300 British Royal Air Force trainees. Fifteen of these brave young men never went home. They are buried in the GAR Cemetery near Route 66. It's over 70 years since the war ended. Even so, Miami townspeople have never forgotten their sacrifice. Each year they are honored with a special memorial. As the Union Jack flies over the gravesite, the story of their life in Miami and their dedication is recalled, lest they never be forgotten. Some say there's a kind of magic in Miami, something in the air or water that produces a desire in people to succeed. It's hard to argue such a belief because this small corner of Oklahoma has indeed spawned an unusually large number of nationally renowned people. Carol Littleton, award-winning film editor noted for her work on E.T., The Big Chill, Twilight, The Rum Diaries, and most recently the movie Walk in the Woods, she grew up in Miami. Moslin Larkin gained international fame as a prima ballerina and she and her husband founded the highly rated Tulsa Ballet. Moslin's grace, technique, and stage presence was learned under her mother's tutorage right here in Miami. Other Miami-born celebrities include Keith Anderson, the American country singer-songwriter. Joseph E. Fields was the musical director for the Dance Theater of Harlem. Kiefer Thompson is husband to Shauna, and together they are better known as Duo Thompson Square. Steve and Casey Gaines were musicians and singers for the legendary rock band Leonard Skinner. David Osborne is known as the pianist to the presidents. His list of White House performances includes the Reagan, Bush, Carter, and Clinton administrations. David has performed numerous times for President and Mrs. George W. Bush in the White House. Currently, Osborne performs at his new home, the Bellagio Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. Osborne learned to play the piano in Miami and performed at the Coleman Theater, a historic, iconic theater built in 1929 and restored by the people of Miami. The Coleman Theater is a place of arts and culture, which has contributed much to the magic of Miami. But the real magic of Miami is the town's dedication to family values, spiritual devotion, pride, and its educational systems. At the core of this is NEO A&M College an institution who also produced some of America's greatest artists, entertainers, and business people. Charles Banks Wilson founded the NEO A&M Art Department in 1947 and continued there until 1962 when he became fully involved in his artist profession and accomplished so much with oil portraits displayed in many locations including Oklahoma State Capitol, United States Capitol, and the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. Nick Calcagno became department head of NEO A&M Art Department in 1968 until 1992, 
and his wife Carol Calcagno was an instructor at NEO from 1971 until her retirement in 2002. Nick did many paintings and also sculpture, such as Steve Owens at OU Football Stadium, Mickey Mantle at the Commerce Baseball Field, and Mickey Mantle Sculpture at Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. Ted Watts best known for his oil paintings of sports figures including all Heisman Trophy winners studied at NEO A&M Art Department under Charles Banks Wilson. David Froman was an instructor at NEO before and after his successful career on Broadway and TV. He taught at NEO for 13 years and his acting credits include Matlock, Hill Street Blues, 21 Jump Street, Cheers, and many more. Joe Don Rooney is part of the country pop band Rascal Flats. His parents both had long careers at NEO from 1984 until 2004. Fern Holland was later named Oklahoma of the Year in 2005 after she perished in Iraq in 2004 investigating human rights abuses. Her father, Joe Holland, was a business instructor at NEO from 1962 until his death in 1983. In 1969, Steve Owens won the Heisman Trophy Award and in 1991 he was inducted into the College Football and Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame. Owens was a product of Miami High School and played his high school football at the Miami High School NEO A&M Stadium. Rear Admiral Jeffrey Trussler was the recipient of the Naval Submarine League's Rear Admiral Jack Darby Award for Inspirational Leadership and Excellence in Command for 2006. A member of the Cherokee Nation, he was the American Indian Science and Engineering Society Executive Excellence Award winner for 2008. For more in-depth history of Miami, Oklahoma, visit the Dobson Museum. The museum has recently been celebrated as the finest community museum in the state of Oklahoma. Listen now as Admiral Jeff Trussler sums up how his childhood growing up in Miami, Oklahoma influenced his successful career in the United States Navy. My name is Captain Jeff Trussler. I'm originally from uh, Miami, Oklahoma. I've been in the Navy 29 years and have had the privilege of serving in our nation's submarine force and uh, commanding uh, the yeah, submarine USS Maryland. Uh, I consider it a great privilege to call Miami, Oklahoma my hometown. Uh, born and raised there, uh, went to high school, junior college there, and uh, you know, I don't know how to define small town values or small town ethic or small town charm, but I know that Miami, Oklahoma has that. Uh, I still have uh, friends uh, that I grew up with from the kindergarten through high school that are very close friends of mine that I keep in touch with. The town was just uh, the right size to where you pretty much knew everyone or everybody knew who you were so you couldn't stray too far without your parents finding out. Uh, I think uh, the teachers, the coaches, the other parents, the community just provided a great support and a great environment to grow up in and uh, prepared me well to go on to Oklahoma State and prepared me well to go out in life and uh, be successful in the Navy. I have had the privilege in the Navy of uh, living all over the United States, uh, in Hawaii, two years overseas in Italy, and I visited uh, 35 different countries. And uh, that, that experience and that broadening of understanding of the world has made me uh, appreciate more uh, that I, how lucky I should be and lucky I am to have grown up in Miami, Oklahoma. Just the uh, foundation uh, of work ethic, uh, watching my father and uh, his father before him over 65 years in, uh, in business in Miami and many other people just like that uh, with the ethic of hard work uh, and the ability to just say you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it and if you're honest and you give it your best effort.